Welcome to this video where we'll be exploring three research gaps in the field of computer science that are worth exploring. As computer science continues to evolve, it presents exciting opportunities for cross-disciplinary research. Computational methods and technologies have revolutionized the medical field offering new possibilities for disease detection, treatment and prevention. One of the key ways that computer science has contributed to medicine is through the development of specialized subdomains such as machine learning, data mining and image processing that can help to analyze and interpret complex medical data. After conducting an extensive literature review and analysis, I have identified three key research gaps that we will be discussing today. So by the end of this video, you will understand the research problem, objectives for each gap and how they can be addressed using various subdomains within computer science, such as machine learning, IoT, image processing and data mining. So the first research gap which I have identified for a specific disease is what Erdium Chester disease that is ECD. This disease is a rare and often fatal form of non-Lagrahan cell histiocytosis that affects multiple organ systems, including the bone marrow, central nervous system and cardiovascular system. So now your question will be how I can use this research gap, how I can uh, you implement this research gap in your research as a computer science uh, scholar. Before that, you can just go and learn completely about this particular disease, which is ECD disease in Wikipedia. Just have a complete look at this. And what I understood is what we can use machine learning to predict this disease. So early de detection and accurate prediction of ECD can improve patient outcomes and inform treatment decisions. In this research gap, my aim is to explore the potential of machine learning to predict ECG and improve patient outcomes. By using advanced machine learning algorithms, we can train models on molecular data, medical imaging and patient data to identify patterns and relationship that can help predict the progression of ECD. So the objective of this research is to develop a reliable and accurate model that can predict the disease progression, identify the stage of the disease and suggest potential treatment option for ECD. So let us go to the next research gap which I have identified as what adult onset stills disease that is AOSD. So this is a rare type of inflammatory arthritis that usually begins in adulthood. It is characterized by spiking fever, rash, sore throat, joint pain and swelling. AOSD is an autoimmune disease. The, that is the autoimmune disease in which the body's immune system mistakenly attacks healthy tissues and cells leading to the inflammation in various parts of the body. The cause of AOSD is unknown and there is no known cure but treatment can help manage symptoms and prevent complications. So you can learn completely about AOSD in Wikipedia as well as you can also find more relevant papers in the medical um, journals like um, um, Medline or something. So you can just find those journals to learn more about it. So my idea is what we can apply Internet of Things. That is, in recent years, the Internet of Things has emerged as a promising technology for improving healthcare outcomes. By using interconnected devices and sensor to collect and analyze the data, IoT can help monitor patient health and detect early warning signs of a various disease. In this context, we have identified a research gap in the field of adult onset stills disease, a rare inflammatory disorder that can cause serious uh, and uh, serious complications if left untreated. The research question is how can IoT be used to monitor the progression of AOSD and provide timely interventions. And the third research gap which I have uh, uh, found is what on the disease amyloidosis. So amyloidosis is a group of rare but serious disease caused by the accumulation of abnormal proteins called amyloid in the tissue and organs throughout the body. These deposits can cause damage and lead to organ failure if left untreated. 
In order to effectively diagnose and treat this disease, it is important to accurately detect and quantify the amyloid deposit in the affect tissues, which can affect the tissues and organs. So, this is where the subdomain of image processing comes in. So, image processing involves the use of computer algorithms to analyze medical images and extract useful information. In the case of amyloidosis, image processing algorithms can be used to detect and quantify the amount of location of amyloid deposit in medical images, which can aid in early diagnosis, disease monitoring and treatment planning. By combining image processing with other diagnostic tools and techniques, researchers can improve our understanding of the complex disease and develop more effective treatment strategies. So, if you have any other idea on um, improving this, for example, for, uh, for the first disease which we have discussed, if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to bring up the image processing into that disease, that is also fine. Or if you wanted to add IoT for this amyloidosis, then that is also fine. Just I have, uh, I have given the research gap where I found that in these diseases there is no research has been done so far. That is no complete research like incorporating the computer science domain or any other domain into that field has not done so far so if you uh, still that is uh, the doctors and other uh, medical related researchers are doing a lot of research on this using computer science machine learning image processing into this particular disease can help to prevent and detect the disease in advanced stage that is more uh, uh, early stage so yes and that concludes our presentation on the top three research gaps worth exploring in the field of computer science i hope you found this informative and insightful by identifying these gaps and highlighting potential research opportunities i hope to encourage cross-disciplinary collaborations and advance the field as a whole so if you have any questions or would like to discuss these research gaps further, please feel free to leave a message in the comments below. So we'd like to hear from you. I would like to hear from you that in which area of the field would you like to learn about the top three research gaps? Let me know in the comment and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Take care. Bye bye.